Hey guys, Dave here. Today I bring you a new tutorial called Grab Deformers. With this amazing tool, you'll be able to attach clothing to your rigs and therefore have more fun planning your animation. So let me show you how it's done. Okay, say the first thing you have to do is prepare your clothing, do the, the pertinent modeling, and be sure to have it mirrored and have all the subdivisions um, properly aligned and everything. So whenever you incorporate it to the rig mesh, um, when it bends, it won't um, look strange or the polygons won't trespass or anything like that, okay? So, no, I don't want to say it, sorry about that. Okay, so you have your, your mesh ready, okay? I, even here in the outliner, have a group, and within that group, I have my tie and my suit and whatever I need for the clothing, okay? So, Let's bring out our bishop rig from Animation Mentor, an awesome school. And within the rig, we have to locate the, the mesh geometry. So I have it right here. Here it is. Be sure that it's not the group you're selecting, but the geometry itself. OK, once you have that lo uh, located, you go ahead and click select the clothes geometry group and you drag it either above or below the group that has the mesh. So now it's inside the, the rig, okay? It's parented within the, the primary group of the rig. So now what we're going to do is first select the clothes geometry, that's the low resolution, and then we're going to select the high resolution geometry that is the the body itself so first the clothes as a group and then the body okay we go ahead uh, spacebar so we bring out the quick menu selection we go here to create the formers and wrap here checkbox now here what does this mean okay be sure if you have it on the default settings you'll see that the render influence is not selected. Please do select this. So whenever you have to um, play blast or whenever you have to make a render, um, the mesh will appear because if you don't select it, it would automatically hide this and you won't able you won't be able to see it. You'll probably see just the teeth or whatever geometry is not related to the the warp itself. The wrap, sorry. Okay. So now Leave the auto weight threshold selected. You can even go to the attribute um, menu later on and unselect it and manually change this value so you, you could tweak how the, the mesh is working or the wrap is working. But for now, let's leave it here on default and with the render influence object selected. Okay, we go ahead and create. Okay, so now let's test it. First, let's move the whole rig. Okay, perfect. It's parented. It's, const it's constrained in a way. And it's moving perfectly. Now let's see if it deforms with it. Okay, I'm going to just randomly move this. Yeah, it is. It's working. All right, let's grab this IK arm. there you go you can always go ahead and select the geometry for the clothes press 3 so it, it will smooth you have a nice smooth clean jacket there we go I also recommend that the group that you have here for the clothes you add it to your display layers so you can turn it off do your animation without having so much RAM problems and then turn it on and see whether or not you have some tweaking to do within the, the warp options and the attribute itself. So that's it guys. It's a quick, neat, cheap, but good looking tutorial on how to attach clothes to your rigs. I hope you enjoyed it. Cheers. Happy animating.